Swagatam. Uh, welcome. Today is the 25th of February. It is the Panchabim Shati Tamaha Dinankaha. This is the Pratamo Bhagaha Vyakarana Vibhagaha. Mangalacharanam Ramo Rajamanis Sada Vijayate Ramam Ramesham Vijay Rame Nabhyata Nishachara Chamu Ramayatasmai Namaha Rama Nasti Parayanam Parataram Rama Sada Sosmiyaham Rame Chitale Sada Bhotame Bhorama Mamudhara Rama Rame Ti Rame Ti Rame Rame Mano Rame Sahasthanamutatulyam Rama Nama Varanane Shri Rama Nama Varanana On Nama Iti Atta Shri Maheshwara Sutrani A Yi Un Rul Rak A Ong Ai Auch Haya Varatta Lanya Nyamanga Na Nam Jabang Gadadash Jaba Gadadash Kapha Cha 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 you know, referring to the dhatu who, of course, you you received many examples for the last two weeks, so you have, uh, you know, you have a lot of these examples that have come your way. Let me look at, for example, this one, harta, etc. So the examples are the backbone of all the classes, because in the class we have a limited amount of time, and uh, it's in a little, little bit uh, in brief. But only if you practice the examples, you'll uh, be able to understand and apply what you know we're discussing in the class. So anyway, in the last class we were finished come the Lutla Karaha. We are going in the Akaradi Kramaha, which is Siddhanta Kamudi Kramaha or in the Dhatu Vritti, which is Lut Lit Lut Lut Lot and Lung uh, Ling which includes Vidiling Ashirling and then uh, lung and rung. So let we, we, what we broke that order which is which I mentioned in the class last time because we wanted to get all the lakaras in which we get the shabha, the yaha, shab, etc. So those were lut, lot, lung and vidiling because the angakarim is samanam so that is helpful to finish all those four together. And then we came back to the order and we did lit and we finished lut last time Today we'll look at the Lurat Lakaraha. Before going there, let's just look at these tables briefly. Bhavita, Bhavitaro, Bhavitaraha, Bhavitasi. Over here, Sutram Tasasti or Lopaha. Tasasti or Lopaha has been used here. Then Bhavitastaha, Bhavitastha, Bhavitasmi, Bhavitasvaha, Bhavitasmaha. Only thing, once you form the Angam, like Bhavitas, then the rest of it is the same, no matter what dhatu you have, in which gana that you have, it, it doesn't matter. If any will form the hangam, mangam, let's say hantas. So it becomes hanta, hantaro, hantaraha, hantasi, hantasta, hantasta, hantasmi, hantaswa, hantasmaha. So that's the good news is that, is that no matter which gana the dhatu might belong to, in this only the, because of satasi, r, lutoho, which we looked at last time, in the the shap etc are overruled overruled because when the uh, lutlakara follows the pratyatasi comes so anyway as i said you have received all these examples uh, which we have practiced so all the steps are given here in detail in all the examples so you can practice them and if you have any questions always you can email and we, we will answer them try to answer them now in the Atmane Padam, similarly we looked at Atmane Padam, we, that's why we finished last class with the Atmane Padam where we saw two rules which is the Dhicha, which I mentioned many times in the class, do not confuse Dhicha and Richa. Dhicha comes way back in the Tripadi uh, section of the Ashtadhyayi and it is not limited to Tas or anything like that, it says Dhadav Pratye Pare Sasya Lopaha. So dhicha was because when we have when we have the dva dvam pratya dvam following which becomes dve because of tito atmanipadam tere, then we need to apply dhicha in the atmanipadam madhya purusha bahuvachanam. 
So we saw that and we also saw the Sutram Ha Eti as the last Sutram in the Uttama Purusha Ekavashanam. Tasastyo. Look at the number here now. It's 7452. One, this is one thing in the class we always try to emphasize is don't just blindly look at the Vritya Sutram. See which section of the Ashtadhyay you are in. Because the these rules which is Tasastyo Lopaha which is 7450 then followed by richer and her AT. Then they're in one section. While the Sutram Dhicha is in completely different section, it is way back there, so this is some different context. So you have to keep that in mind. Um, so if you look at the table here, the table here shows that Labdha, because this is a the in Nisheda is being done by which is Sutram 7 to 10, which we spent almost one full class on that for good reason because any time you have Pratya, which is Valadi, which has a Sanya of uh, Ardhatukam, then you have to always think about Ardhatukasyed Valade. But the moment you think of 7 to 35, along with that, always check 7 to 10 because that is the uh, in Nisheda Sutram, in Nisheda Vidhaka Sutram, Pradhanam. So it is, it is the main Sutram which does in Nisheda. And there in the Bhante issue we have Yabha, Rabha and Labha, Trayaha. So uh, there are these three Dhatus which end in a consonant in a Bhakaraha which are Anudhattu Padeshaha. So then we hear in Nisheda will be done 7 to 35, we start by 7 to 10, and then we just do Sandhikaryam because we, we did, I think we did that also in the last class. We were looking at the form, so love plus lut, when we have that, then we Anubandha uh, Lopaha, in this case we're looking at Uttam Purusha Ekvachanam, so it Pratyaha. Remember, it is a Pratyaha mentioned in the Sutram 3478, because we got Atam Jha. Thas atham dham id vahi mahi. So don't confuse the id pratyaha with the id agamaha. Id agamaha is 7 to 35. Id pratyaha is one of the 18 um, ting pratyaha. It's one of the 9 tang pratyaha mentioned in 7, mentioned in 3, 4, 78. So here in Uttam Purusha Bhavachanam we had it. Then we got Anubhanda Lopaha and then Tita Atmani Padanam Tere. Because the lut is a titlakaraha. In the Pratya Tasi came because of Satya Satya Tasi Lutoho Apavada for Shap, etc. And then 7 to 10 stopped 7 to 35. And then after that uh, we got Ho Eti because this uh, Hakar of Tas becomes, the, sorry, the Sakara of Tas. The Sakara of Tas takes a Hakara Adeshaha Eti Parataha. When, when Ekara follows. And then we did some Sandhikaryam, Jashastathor Dhodaha. Jashastathor Dhodaha. Because this is a Jash letter, Chatrutha Varnaha. Jash because Javai Gharadash. Javai Gharadash. So, so there, um, so this became, the Takara became, the Takara is preceded by a Jash letter, so it became a Dhakaraha. And then we got Labdha. Hey. So Labdha will be the Yangam. That will be the common. Uh, Samanyam Karyam. And then we got uh, Labdha. See, notice one thing is that this is a rare Lakaraha in which uh, the forms are the same in Parasvami Padam and Atmani Padam in Pratham Purushaha because of the Sutam Lutaf Prathamasya Dara Urasaha. Lutaf Prathamasya Dara Urasaha. So didn't say Atmani Padam or Parasvami Padam. So because of, you know, Ubhayoho Padayoho. And both Atne Padam and Prasna Padam. So this is another interesting thing about this Lutlakara is that the forms in the third person are the same in Atmane Padam and Prasna Padam. The rules are the same. So we get Labdha Labdharo Labdharaha. Because here Richa applies over here, Richa. And um, here of course we get the T Lopaha by Sutram Tehe. So Ditva Samaritya Dvasyapi Te Lopaha, which all we did in the last class. I'm just recapping in the last class right now, nothing new. Labdha say because uh, you know we get um, labdhas plus we have the pratya thas then we get thas se thas se don't forget our basic rules which is three four anytime we titlakara in atmani padam you always remember three four seventy nine three four eighty titra atmani padanam tere and thas se 
hypothesis say? As I mentioned to you also repeatedly is that 3478 only sets the defaults. They will change in a variety of ways. Depending on the Lakaraha, they will change. So that is why 3478 is not a rule in vacuum. It should be looked at as a starting a section. Their entire section should be completed. So 3478, when you apply that, complete the remaining of 34 before moving on to anywhere else. In this case, we get Thasas Se. And again, we get the uh, Sutram Thasas or Lopaha. We get Thasas or Lopaha, which we looked at last time in the class, which was here, Thasas or Lopaha. And you can always check the Vritti when applying anything. So Thasas or Lopaha will come over here. Um, Actually, we have seen that before Tasas Theor Lopaha. We did it with Dhatu Us when we did. At that time, we looked at Tasas Theor Lopaha. So here, let's go. We can, in fact, we can pull it up here. Tasas Theor Lopaha, Tasas Theor Lopaha, Tasas Theor Lopaha, Tasas Theor Lopaha. Because in the, the Madhya Purusha, Ek Vachana with Dhatu Us also, we used Tasas Theor Lopaha. Here it is, 7450. It says that Tasera Stescha Sasya Lopasyat Sado Pratye Pare. So that time we didn't we didn't we didn't need the task, but now we are looking at the task. So pratyeha task. So here we have labdhas se. It become labdhas se. So that was the that's the other form here, and then we get labdhas sathe labdhadve here dicha. In labdhadve we apply dicha dicha sutram, and then um, this is again dicha is in a different in a different section, eight to twenty five. Then labdha he we use her eighty. We just saw that. This is where we stopped last time. Now today what we like to do is that finish the remaining titlakaraha, the last titlakaraha, which are the four lut, lit, lut, rut, and lot. Lot we have already done. So rut is the last one. In fact, interesting sutram is that. <laughs> this is kind of a joke. But says the sutram, the rut, vidhaika sutram says rut sheshe cha. Right now we have rut as shesha. <laughs> Rit is the remaining titlakaraha. So avashishtaha titlakaraha. So rit shesha, I'm just joking. But rit shesha means that the, um, just look at the number 313. Three, now I said to you that um, always keep on and 3284 starts bhute. Bhute, it is a kalanukramena. Uh, along, it's, it's like in the order of time. In the order of time, so past, present, future. So Bhute starts from 3 to 84. I'm going to keep on repeating these many, many times because then you can remember these if you keep on repeating many, many times. I know I've said this many times before. 3 to 84 starts Bhute because if you know the Ashtra, Ashtra, Ashtra the structure, if you know the system, then it, you don't need classes that you can also explore on your own. And 3 to 123 starts Vartamani, let and 333, 333, 333, he says it starts Bhavishyati. And there we saw Bhavishyati ends with Anadyatane, Rit, which we saw last time. Now we're going to look at Rit Sheshecha, Rit Sheshecha. What does the Sutram say? Look at the Vritti always. The Vritti says that, of course, Anivritti of Bhavishyati is coming down, so that is in this section of Bhavishyati. And it says that Bhavishyat Dartha Dhato Ho. Remember, we also in the Adhikara of Pratyaha Parascha, we start from 311, 312, and we are also in the Adhikara of Dhato Ho. So don't forget these grand Adhikaras, the bigger Adhikaras. So we have Pratyaha Parascha, we are also in the Adhikara of Dhato Ho, which starts from 3122. So that is why putting all that together, see the Vritti puts all that together for you. The Prithi puts all that together for you. And so then, including Pratyaha, Parascha, Dhato, Ho, Bhavishyati. So then we, when, when we combine all of that, it becomes Bhavishya Dartha, Dhato, Ho. So following a Dhatu, because you're Pratyaha, Parascha, right? So following a Dhatu, we in the Dhato, Adhikara, which is used in the, in the sense of future. Rit Vidhiyate, Rit Pratya is being prescribed. Then there's one condition here is kriyarthayam kriyayam satyam satyam va. Now what is this complication now? Because what is this thing about kriyarthayam kriyayam satyam satyam va? So it means that whether a kriyartha kriya is there or not. So there or not. Now we have um, 
this sub this uh, kriyarthayam kriyayam satyam satyam va means whether in the presence of a kriyatha kriya or even without the presence of kriyartha kriya now what is a kriyartha kriya the kriyartha kriya means that it is a, a action kriya whose artha prayojanam whose purpose whose intent whose objective is another kriya so one more time the kriyartha kriya it is a, it is a kriya it is a action whose artha whose prayojanam whose purpose whose intent is another kriya kriyartha kriya so that's what is called kriyartha let's take an example you can understand what i'm talking about the example is that bhokshyami uh, iti gachati so he goes with the idea that with the intention that wherever he is going there he will eat he she he or she will eat over there so bhokshyami iti let's say sankalpya gachati so he goes with the idea that he will eat so rut can be used over here whether and now this gamana kriya this action of going that is the kriyartha kriya because the gamana kriya the action of going is done for the purpose of the later action of eating so the action of going is really only for like a supporting action to the action of eating so that gamana kriya the action of going is a kriyartha kriya because the artha the prayojanam of the gamanam is the uh, the bhojanam which is coming afterwards so that is what's called kriyartha kriya is when one action is done with the idea that with the intention that with the purpose that with the plan with the plan that the so second action will be done so that 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 earlier action is kind of is 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 supporting or is it is a uh, essential action for that second action so that is bhokshyami tigachati and even if that kriyartha kriya is not there just we can still use rut we can just say bhokshyami i shall eat is that is we will we'll derive this form shortly don't worry about the form right now understand what meaning rut is used so rut is used following a dhatu which is used in the sense of future which is denoting a future action whether a kriyartha kriya is present or not present so why do we need to say this business about kriyartha kriya being present or not present samanyena kasman vidhiyate samanyena ko dosha syat what will be the problem if we just say you know rut bhavishyat yarthe so we, why, why don't we jump why in pani why has to say sheshecha sheshecha so we can say you know whether the kriyata kriya is there or not there and all that the reason is that uh, there is a sutram which we have not which we will study later on tumul tumun nulau kriyartham kriyaya sorry one more time tumun nulau kriyayam kriyarthayam is 3310 for example just now we saw the example right now bhokshyami iti gachati we can also say bhuktum gachati bhuktum gachati so that would also be an an alternate usage bhuktum gachati drashtum agachati you know and so on and so forth vaktum agachati and what it might be so uh, then what would have happened is that if we did not specify you know that uh, you know kriyayam kriyarthayam sorry kriya kriyarthayam kriyayam satyam satyam va if we did not specify that then what would happen is that when kriyata kriya was present the 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 root would have been overruled by the sutam tumun and nulau because tumun and nul these two pratyas i mean specifically being prescribed when the kriyartha kriya is present so that being a specific prescription then what would what would have happened is that what would have happened is that if one did not say shesha cha then the the tumun and nul would have overruled rut when kriyartha kriya is present so then this example like bhokshyami iti gachati would not have been possible because here we have a kriyartha kriya and then some you could have argued you could have argued that wait a minute if kriyartha kriya is then only tumun and nul can be used it cannot be used so to stop that to stop to to avoid to prevent to prevent to prevent rut from being overruled by the 
you know, the Polynesian way is that you don't have to memorize any tables. You don't have to sit down and memorize like 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. That is not productive. So you, 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 if you can understand how multiplication works, you don't have to, multiply, you don't have to memorize the table. Same thing here. Because you look at all these steps are the same we've done before. So who plus lit when we add the lakara in the sense of lit she she cha. Then, by the way, in English they use these terms like first future, second future, simple future, and this and that. My suggestion is that avoid all those because they can be confusing. Uh, I mean, that's what I would suggest. Just use the lakara exactly as it is. say lut or say lut or say lot or say lut. In fact, what you can also say when you say lut, you say lut she she cha then you can understand exactly what it means. So avoid using that first future, second future, and simple future, and that this future, and that future. Just say lit. When you say lit, it, you know exactly what it means. So, anubandalo pehla, then tiptasji, all these steps are always common. So we're talking about pratham purusha ekavachanam, so she she prathamaha, we get the tip pratyaha over here, because dhatu who's parasmaipadi, and then I mean, nothing, there's nothing new over here. And in fact, today's class, you'll notice all the sutras are very straightforward. I mean, now we're getting to the point where we have, we have discussed more than 500 rules now. So at this point, it should be quite straightforward for you to just add a few more details. It should not be, there's nothing really fundamentally, you know, uh, conceptually new at all in today's class. It is just very simple, step by step. Uh, simple rules. So then we get the Syata Seal Lutoho Apavada for Shap, Bhu Syati. Then, of course, the moment we have a Pratyaha which has something of Ardhatukam, which is a Valadi Pratyaha, then we have to think about Ardhatuka Seal Valadehe. We get the Iragamaha. Now, Iragamaha means what? Always check 7 to 10. And we have looked at in the class in detail, and there we can see that among the Ajanta Dhatavaha, because of Udru Dantaihi, Yauti Rukshnu Ityadi, they only uh, Vina, so without barring these Dhatus ending in long U and long Ru, etc., remaining are Nihataha, the Anudatta Padeshaha. But since, dhat, since the Dhatu Bhu is a Dirgha, Ukaranta dhatu ho, therefore it is a udatto padeshaha, udatto padeshaha. So it, it will, it will, there will, there will be no, so basically 7 to 10 will not apply, 7 to 10 will not stop 7 to 35, and you can, of course you can also go to dhatu part if you want to do that, you can go to dhatu part and see the dhatu bhu satayam, you see the dhatu bhu, there is the udatta swaraha, there is no line below it. So that is udatta swaraha. So 7 to 10 doesn't apply. So we just do the, uh, apply the idagamaha, adhyantau takitau, anubandha lopaha, and then the angam bhu takes the gunadeshaha because of sarvadhatuka, ardhadhatuka, yoho. I mean all very, very old, old steps. This should be second nature for you by now. And then echo yava yavaha, bhavisyati, and of course then Adesha Pratyaya Yoho, Adesha Pratyaya Yoho, make it the Mudhanya Shakaraha because the Ikara is preceding here, that's the in letter, so by Adesha Pratyaya Yoho, make it the Mudhanya Shakaraha, so that is final, final step is 8369, again a sutra which I have used many, 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 many times, Adesha Pratyaya Yoho, there, there the Anuvritti is coming off in Koho, in Koho, so the Ikara is the in, so we get the Dantya Sakarasya Sthane Mudhanya Shakara Deshaha. So Bhavishyati, Bhavishyati. Now the good news is that, the good news is that once you get the form Bhavishyati, when you, when you, when you form the Anga Bhavishya, then the remaining steps are same as we did in the Latlakarha. When we did Bhavati, we did Bhavati, Bhavata, Bhavati, Bhavataha, Bhavanti, you know Bhavasi, Bhavataha, Bhavatha, Bhavami, Bhavabaha, Bhavabaha. So just the exact same steps here. So bhavish, once you get the Bhavishya Anga, Anga, Anga Karyam, then Bhavishyati, Bhavishyataha, Bhavishyanti, Bhavishyasi, Bhavishyataha, Bhavishyatha, Bhavishyami, Bhavishyabaha, Bhavishyamaha. So then if you look at the table over here, so you can just take your table for let 
and just replace the bhava with bhavishya and this remaining you know shesham karyam samanam the rest of the rules are the same for example uh, here we get jhuntaha and then atogune the same rules same rule we use in latakara same over here here we get the uh, atodirgho yai atodirgho yai don't forget our friends you give this a chance for to practice all those old rules which we learned in the latakara time atodirgho yai so you know so we get the dirgha desha by the bhavishyami bhavishyavah same thing here bhavishyavah bhavishyavah so just like we saw in the in the latakara once we get the angam bhavitas or labdhas remaining regardless of what dhatu you have which gana you have is going to be the same template the same template same thing here once you get bhavishya you just apply the same endings as in the latakara now in the atmane padam also same thing let's look at the same dhatu labha you labhash praptau this is anid dhatu there will be no iragamaha because we just saw that because 7 to 10 we stop the iragama in this case because the dhatu labha is listed out as one of the three dhatus so it is trishu ekaha trishu ekaha so unudaptu padesh bhante ishu so trishu ekaha ekaha unudaptu padeshaha dhatu labha so that's why we told you when I when we did this when we did the sutram in that class I told you that this sutram has to be pasted on your wall at all times because you are going to, we are now going to see many many pratyas which are going to be valadi in and ardhatuka pratyaya so in all those cases seven to thirty five has to be has to be applied with the permission of seven to ten. So that is why this is such a common sutram, so we are going to use it all the time. So here what happens now, because the love is anudattu pradesha dhatu ho, so 7 to 10, stop 7 to 35, and we get the forms lapsya, we get the form, uh, we get the angam lapsya. Follow all these same steps, all these same steps, but because this is, this dhatu is atmanipadi, rather than using pratyatip, use the pratyata, and then don't forget jitra atmanipadanam tere. Tito Atmani Padanam Te Re, so it becomes Te, so it becomes Labh Te, then Syata Asil Lutoho, get the Sya Pratyaha, then Iragama is stopped by 7 to 10, and then Kharicha, Kharicha, also good chance to apply all our Sandhi rules now, <coughs> Kharicha, we have a Jal letter, Bhakara, followed by a Khar letter, which is the sakara of the sya, so it takes the charra desha, becomes lapsya, lapsya, so by karicha. Now we have to apply all the sandhi rules, I mean that is that is basic, fundamental, is karicha, become lapsya. Now once you get the angam lapsya, you apply the same steps here that in the latlakara, like we say labhate, labhete, labhante, labhase, labhete, labhadve, labhe, labhavahe, labhamahe, same thing here. Lapsya te, lapsye te, lapsyan te, lapsya se, lapsye te, lapsya dve, lapsye lapswa vahe, laps, sorry, lapsye lapsya vahe, lapsya vahe. So just instead of angam being labha, make it lapsya. And the rest of the steps are all the same. So in all the places, of course, we are applying titta atman padanam te re, and then we have ato nitaha over here. So these are the old rules you have to practice now, Ato. So if you want to go and practice, look at your old notes for your um, uh, Latlakaraha. We had Ato Nitaha. So Ato Nitaha, the 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 A, the A becomes the Ia Deshaha, and we become we get Guna Desha after that, then Lopo Vyor Vali. So we get uh, Lapsiete. So Ato Nitaha. So all these all these old rules that we have to we have to practice to practice all those because ato ye yaha ato yataha if you want to get quickly look at that one 7 to 81 7 to 81 ato yataha ato yataha ato yataha ato yataha ato yataha good so this is going to give us actually a double practice of these these rules which you saw in the in the in the lat lakara so ato yataha what this says is that ataha parasya because we have anga lapsya so ataha parasya 
नित्य आकार आदेश सो लाइक वी डिड द फॉर्म ए धे ते राइट सो वी सो सेम थिंग हियर बिकॉज वी हैड अंगम लक्ष्य फॉलोइंग दैट वी हैव द आते आते सो द आकार एंड दैट आते इज अ नित प्रत्यय बिकॉज ऑफ सार्वधातुकम अपित सार्वधातुकम अपित 1 2 4 सार्वधातुकम अपित सो द आकार टेक्स्ट द ई आदेश हा द लोप ऑफ योर वली then guna adesha becomes e dhete same thing here by ato nyata we get the e adesha and then lop of your vali and then guna adesha we get the form lapsyate then lapsyante of course jonta jonta ato gune then here we get thasase is a titlakara so thasase same thing here ato nyata we also tita apne padanam tere and then here um we do the chitta apanpadanam tere then atogune atogune lapsya plus a become lapsye so lapsya plus it alabunda lope lapsya plus e then e becomes ekaraha by chitta apane padanam tere then atogune same steps same steps as in labhe in lapsye then lapsya vahe lapsya mahe ato dirgho yai you just saw and then of course to talk about the ram tere so the good news is that once we form the angam whether it is bhavishya or lapsya as the case may be then the remaining is just the same same template as in the latlakara so what we'll do remaining of the class today is only look at the anga karyam because you know uh shesham samanam what we have seen is is the same as before we'll be we'll do steps we'll only so we'll only go up to the step of forming the angam or whatever the angam might be ending in the sya pratyah after that it becomes adantam angam and we can derive the tables okay so let's look at uh, the next rule which is here um so basically that is that's it that's really all you need to know about the lutrakara it's as simple as that i mean of course we'll see some rules today about when the idagama might come idagama may not come there might be atmane padam there might be parasne padam but those are details those are only details as for the basic the mula prakriya of lutlakara is just it that's all it is see we didn't require any single sutra not one single sutra we required except the lutshesha which does in which meaning lut is being used there was nothing else to derive this entire table this entire table was derived without using a single new sutra all of this this entire thing this entire thing was completely all known to us so which is good is good chance to practice that so we're going to just fill in some details now at what might ha happen in the angakaryam particularly with the idagama so in the idagama there's going to be some deep we're going to drill down now in this section today we're going to see some rules other than that also but we're going to be starting we're going to be looking at some more details this adhikara of um idagamaha ardhatuka sied vala dehe you look at that so let's let's get started let's get started let's see what we have first one we're going to look at this rule which is ayadaya ardhatuke va ayadaya ardhatuke va is the type of it is it ardhatuke va okay so there's a type excuse me there's a type of there okay cuz okay aya de ard dhatu ke va let me just fix the type of one second and we'll come at that ard dhatu ke va this a typo there okay uh, if you see any typo on the board please let me know because you know because people listen recordings afterwards in fact somebody emailed me yesterday last week about about a class 7 months ago there was a typo in the class so if you see, if i say anything wrong that you know Uh, of course we have the usual disclaimer that oh ravi i fixed it ravi thank you i got it ravi ravi is there but i just i just fixed it ravi thank you um okay so it is uh, here it is now if you see anything more which is wrong or if i say anything wrong please stop me we will correct so it is uh, okay let's see okay aya daya ardha dhatu ke va look at the number please 3131 okay now immediately you should know that we have used 3132 extensively i hope by now you're getting some idea of the ashtadhyayi topography 3132 we have used repeatedly the time sanadyanta dhatavah sanadyanta dhatavah what is called derived 
verbal roots, secondary verbal roots. You can call them what we call sanadi, sanadhyantaha. So that section is ends in 3132. That section ends in 3132, sanadhyanta dhatavaha. And this sutra is 3131. So we must be talking about something with these derived derived roots, something which is being taken on top of a verbal root. So we take a verbal root from the dhatu pataha, we add some pratyaya to that, and then that new samudaya, that new word form, also that new um, set will also get the dhatu sanya, vasanadhyanta dhatavaha. This aya, they are, in fact, we have studied kamer nying. And we have also studied gupu dhupa vichi pani pani bhya ayaha. So we have we have studied three one twenty eight. We have studied, of course, the three one twenty five, three one twenty six, which is churad bhyo nich to twenty five, hetu maticha three one twenty six. We have studied the gupu dhupa vichi pani pani bhya ayaha, and we have studied kamer ning. We have studied Sanadhyanta Dhatavaha and we have studied Syatasi Lutoho and we have studied the you know Kaspratya Ramamantri Liti. We have studied the Ijadeshta Gurumoton Gurumoton Rikshaha. So basically it's a very familiar section to us. It's a very familiar section to us. We've been here many, many times. So that's what I'm saying. That rather than just blindly memorizing the Vritti of Sutras, see what's see what's going around around here. So this must be telling us something about the ayadayaha, which is starting from here. This gupu dhupa vichi pani pani bhya ayaha, and then this one, which this one we didn't study, three one twenty nine, which is ruteri uh, yang, and then kamer ning. So these three pratyahas, which is aya, then the iyang which we have not studied, and then the ning pratyaha kamer ning. So these three are the wa very straightforward, right? That the three pratyaya has aya, the iyang from 3129 and the ning pratyaya kamer ning. They only apply optionally when ardha ke, when the intention is to add ardha dhatu pratyaya. So very, very simple sutram is the aya pratyaya described by 3128, the iyang pratyaya prescribed by 3129, and the ning ning pratyaha ning pratyaha prescribed at 3130 these apply only optionally but when when the vivaksha is ardhatuke 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 vivakshayam so that's all that's all the sutram says that this i etc are applied optionally this means these three 3128 29 and 3130, these three pratyas, they are applied only optionally. This, this is very straight, this is very straightforward. I said this entire today's class is actually very straightforward. This is really quite simple. Uh, of course, you need some practice, but otherwise, I mean, conceptually, there's nothing hard about today's class at all. In fact, going forward, it should be quite easy for you from now on. So, Ardhadhatukka Vivakshayam Ayadayo Vasyo. So, Ardhadhatukka Vivakshayam. Doesn't mean the pratyaya should be actually present. If you know that we are going to be applying a pratyaya, which is sanya partha to come, then <coughs> then the aya, the iyang, and the ning will be applied only optionally. So when the intention is to add a pratyaya, which is sanya partha to come, the affix is aya, uh, etc., which means the aya, the iyang, and the ning are added to a dhatu, added to, to the dhatu only optionally. So let's take a form, let's take the dhatu gupu rakshane, gupu is to protect gupu rakshane, and let's look at the rat karti pragaha, karti pragaha. We all, this is all karti right now, we're talking only karti for the time being, karti pragaha. but you know if you want to look at it, karmani also, the only thing in karmani with with, with rat, there might be some special rules, but as a, as a starting point, if you want to talk about karmani, the only thing you remember is bhava karmano in the in the in the only atmane padam will be used in, in karmani. That's the one thing. Otherwise the steps will be all the same. So rather than whether the dhatu is parasapadi or atmanipadi doesn't matter. If you're talking about the passive, then everything is very simple. You only
use Atmanipadam because of 1313 Bhava Karmano. So right now we are talking about Kartari. If you want to make it Karmani, you have to use Atmanipadam. Otherwise the basic steps are the same. There might be one or two more special rules, but um, mostly the rules, the, the steps are the same. So now here we Dhatu Gupu Rakshane and we look at Pratham Purusha Ek Vachanam. Of course, when we know the Pratham Purusha Ek Vachanam, once we know the Angakaryam, then we can, we can, as we discussed, we can derive the remaining eight forms. Very straightforward, just like in the Latlakara. So let's start now. Firstly is that the 3131 says, Ardha Dhatu Ke Now we know that when we, the intention is to apply the Pratya Rit, and we also know that Syatasi so we know that immediately following the dhatu, the pratyasya is going to be coming. And that pratyasya is definitely has a sanya of ardhadhatu come by ardhadhatu come sheshaha. 3, 4, 1, 1, 4, which we have used many, many times. Ting sarvadhatu come, ardhadhatu come sheshaha. So the vivaksha, the vivaksha, the intention. Vivaksha is vaktum icha vivaksha, the intention to speak, the intention to say. The intention to say is that we know the intention is to use the Siya Pratyaha. So we don't have to wait till the Siya Pratyaha comes. Right now we can apply 3131 and which means that the Pratyaya Aya. Aya Pratyaya will be used only optionally. So one more time. Since we are talking about Rit, when we know Sata Syata Si Rilutoho, that means we know the Pratyasya is going to be coming. We know the Pratyasya Sanya of Ardha to come by 34114 Syata Si Lutoho. So then we know the Vivaksha is Ardhadhatuke Vivaksha, Ardhadhatuke Vivaksha. So let's look at these forms. Now let's take Gupa. Let us first consider the case where the Pratya Aya is added because we know the Aya is going to be optional because of 3131 Aya Daya Ardhadhatuke Va. is going to be Vikalpena, Vikalpena. Let's look at the Aya, Aya Pakshe. Means within in the in the case paksha in the case where I is added, what will happen? Firstly, we'll apply the gup plus I by three one twenty eight, and three one thirty one makes it optional. Optional. So three one twenty eight is gupu dhup vichhi pani pani bhya pani bhya pani bhya aya. We add the pratyaya aya. The aya pratyaya comes, and the aya also has sanya of ardha to come by the same sutram ardha to come. Sheshaha. Then what does that mean? Puganta Lagu Padasya. Puganta Lagu Padasya. The Upadha, the Lagu Padha, the Ukara takes the Guna Deshaha becomes Gopaya. Gopaya. The Gopaya gets Dhatu Sanya Vasanadhyanta Dhata Vaha. This part we have done before, nothing special. So now we take Gopaya, which has a Dhatu Sanya, we apply Rit, Rit Sheshecha, and go through the steps. Um, Anubandha Lopaha Pratya Tip because the Vivaksha is Pratham Purusha Eka Vachanam. Then Anubandha Lopaha Halantyam Tasya Lopaha Syata Sil R Lutoho Nam Idagamaha. So this is an Anekash Dhatu now. Gopaya. There is no question of 7 to 10. You know, 7 to 10 says what? Ekacha Upadesha Nudatta. This Dhatu is not Ekacha, it's Anekash Dhatu. So any time you have Anekash Dhatu, it is not, 7 to 10 has no scope. So 7 to 35 will be, you know, Nirbadha, Iragamaha. Iragama will come definitely without any, without anything stopping it, Nirbadha. So we get Ardhadhatu um, Kasyed Valadehe, Adhyantav Takitav, Anubandha Lopaha. And then we have Gopaya Isyati. Now the Pratyasya. We said a sanya of ardha to come because of ardha to come sheshaha. Then it says atolo paha ardha to ke. 6448. Let's not forget our section of ardha to ke. We have seen two of these because Panini has the adhikar of ardha to ke in 2.4, which we saw a couple of classes ago when we looked at looked at aste bhuho and the bruo vachihi which we took from this section. But right now we took about Angakaryam. Where Angakaryam is concerned, then we go to the section starting from 6446, Ardhadhatu Ke. And there Atolopaha, very simple sutram. Adantamangam, 
followed by pratyaha, which is sanya of ardhadhatukam, then angasya lopaha means alone chasya. Anytime you want to do any adesha, any substitution, including lopaha is an adesha, is substitution by zero, always think of 152, 53, 54, 55, <coughs> the sutra chatushtayam. And first one is alone chasya. Alone just so the ending akara takes lopaha by ato lopaha because we have the pratya isya. One more reminder is that when any agama comes, yada agama stad guni bhavati, which means the agama is not a separate element. Mitravad agamaha, shatruvad adesha. The agama only comes and joins the pratyaha. It is not a separate block. It is a part of the same. It becomes a part of the same block. So the pratyaya is now isya. It's not like it and sya are two separate entities. The id agamaha, mitravat agamaha, it only comes and joins like a friend. It becomes a part of you. So it becomes isya. So isya is a single pratyaya. Isya is a single pratyaya. It's one single block. It's only thing that the sya pratyaya was modified by the id agamaha. It became isya. So don't think of it and sya separate now. Is sya any that's for any agamaha. An agamaha only comes and joins and it modifies the pratyaha, or whatever it might be, the pratyaha, the angam, whatever it might be, it comes and joins that. So isya, so the so pratyaha isya has sanya of ardha to come, and then we get atolopaha become go pai isyati. Of course, finally go pai ishyati. Why? Adisha Pratyaya Yoho. Of course, when we get when we get Gopa Yishyati, then we can Gopa Yishyati, Gopa Yishyataha, Gopa Yishyanti, Gopa Yishyasi, Gopa Yishyataha, Gopa Yishyatha, Gopa Yishyami, Gopa Yishyavaha, Gopa Yishyamaha. Same, those steps will are the same. Now, similarly, by the way, if you did the Lutlakaraha, which is not today's topic, you would get the form Gopa Yita. Gopa Yita. So we had come Gopa. So there also Idagama will be there. Then we get Lutaf Pratamasya Dara or Rasaha in the T Lopaha. We get the corresponding form in Lut would be Gopa Yita. With similar steps, Gopa Yita. Now, the Ayadayaha were Ardhatu Ke Va. So now, when the Aya Pratya is not added, then what happens? Then we take Gup plus Lut directly without adding the pratyaya aya because remember that um, 3131 says aya daya any new panini sutram at least repeat it minimum 10 15 times so you remember that's the most efficient use of your time aya daya ardhatuke va aya daya ardhatuke va so this is optional. So this is the Aya Bhava Pakshe. Aya Bhava Pakshe means in the absence of Aya. We don't add Aya. So we, we just take the Dhatu Gupu from the Dhatu Pahatha, remove the it letter by Upadesha Jana Nasika it, add the Pratya Rit Rit Sheshecha, Rit Sheshecha, Rit Sheshecha, and then Anubandha Lopaha Pratya Tip as before, Anubandha Lopaha Gupti, and now we bring the sata, seal, rule, toho, all the same steps. Now the question comes about iragama. As I told you, a bunch of this, today, today a lot of this class, we are going to be visiting this iragama section over and over again. So today you are going to get a second course in, in, our, in iragama. A few classes back, we just looked at 7 to 35, we looked at 7 to 10. But now we are going to be looking about, you know, five, six rules there to give you more flavor. For the rest of your life, Iragama, I teach your Vyakaranam life, Vyakaranam Jeevan Sya Bhaga Bhavishyati. Iragama Prakaranam. Iragama Prakaranam. Iragama is here to stay forever. So, what we are going to learn today is going to be useful in many, many other contexts. So, don't think these rules are only complicating situation right now. They are not. In fact, the Iragama section is a very important section. So, once you get the hang of it, you can apply those same rules or similar rules in the same section over and over and over again. Let's look at this section one time. Is that we studied the pivotal rule. The pivotal rule there is 7 to 35, which is the id vidhaika sutram. Now prior to that there are there is in, in Nisheda Sutrani. We stop the Dagma. 
and they start from 7 to 8. The Ned Vishikriti starts the in Nishedha and goes up to 7 to 34. And then this Aradhatukasya is Valadehe. Never forget the Valadehe. Pratya is not Valadi. The Pratya is not Valadi. There is no question of Iragamaha. Iragamaha only comes the Pratya is Valadi. Now, there are, there, so this, this section of it goes all the way down to 7 to uh, 78. And the last three rules are Sarvadhatuke. The last three rules are Sarvadhatuke. But still Valadi. Still Valadi only. So the majority of these rules are when the Pratya is Valadi and Ardhatuka Pratya. There are three rules at the end here when the Pratya is still Valadi but it is a can be you not know, it is a Pratya which is Sarvadhatuka Pratya. So one more time from 7 to 35 to 7 to 75 are all these rules which which first of all is a general rule then the specific specific rules and they apply when the Pratya is Valadi and it's Sanya of Ardhatukam. The last three rules, 7 to 76, 77, 78, apply when the Pratya is still Valadi, but Sarvadhatukam. Okay, so what do we need right now? Right now we have a situation where we have Dhatu Gup plus Sya plus Ti. So as a first stop, definitely Iragama Praptaha because of Ardhatuka Siyad Valadi here. But now comes a special rule which says that Swarati, Suti, Suyati, Dhuyu Ditova, Dhuyu Ditova. So Swarati, Suti, Suyati, Dhuy and U Ditova, Dhuyu Ditova. So the Padacheda is Swarati, Suti, Suyati and Dhuy. There is four dhatus. One, two, uh, the Suti is the second one, Suyati is the third one, and Dhuni is the fourth one, and then Uditova. Any Dhatu which is Udit, let's look at the Vritti. Swaratya Dehe Uditascha. What is Udit? Means a Dhatu which has the Dirgha, Ukara has a It, is Udit. Udit means which has the, the long Ukara has an It, is Udit. So, such a Dhatu. So, so following such a dhatu, the Valadi Pratyaha, which is Ardhatuka Pratyaha, those two we just we just mentioned that that is the section that we are in is Ardhatukasya and Valadehe. So but it vasyat. This, this is what is called as the wet dhatu. We had a joke in the class, you know, says someone somebody asked what is the wet dhatus? Wet. So they're they're not like wet and dry dhatus, but wet means that Vikalpena it. So we say set, anit, and wait. Wait in the English, we write the English book. It was an English book. So we're reading, we're just joking. It's just the book W E T, wait. It looks like a wet dhatu. It's not a wet dhatu or dry dhatu, but it's a wait dhatu. It means that Vikalpena it agamaha. So this is a section which is start from 7 to 44 to 7 to 51. It says Vikalpena it. Vikalpena. This is actually easy to remember because see, it starts with the wa. Vikalpena. And then in 7 to 52, again Panini says it. Vasati Kshudho Ritta. So then again Nitya, Nitya Vidhanam starts from here because Panini repeats it again in 52. In 7 to 52, Panini repeats it specifically to say that the wa is stopped. So one more time, from, from 7 to 44 to 7 to 51 is what we are going to say is vikalpena it. So wait, means vikalpena iraga, means iragama, there are two cases, iragama is there optionally and also not there optionally. So, so the section starts from this wa from 7 to 44 and it stops in 7 to 51 because in 7 to 52 Panini again says it. So that's how you know that this is again Nitya Vidhanam. So 7052 is Nityam again, starting from here. So the section, and we have these eight rules from 7 to 44 to 7 to 54. There are eight rules for weight. How about that? There are eight rules for weight. Eight rules for weight. 
and they go from 7 to 44 to 7 to 51. So right now we look at the top level root. Why do we look at this one right now? The dhatu was gupu, gupu rakshane. That gupu because of the upadesha juna nasika, that ukara is in it. So the gupu is a udit dhatu, udit ukara. As it, so therefore we know that the dhatu group. Remember, as I told, when we, when now don't let's not confuse one thing now. When the pratyaya aya was added back here, the dhatu became gopaya. That's not the same dhatu gupu anymore. But that gopaya got its own dhatu sanya by sanadyanta dhatvaha. So that is separate. That gopaya is a new dhatu now. That is not nothing to do with dhatu. If it's derived, derived, it's derived from gupu. But then we, we cannot use now 7244 on Gopaya, because Gopaya has its own Dhatu Sanya. But see, when, when the Pratya I is not added optionally by 3131, then we have a situation of Gup Syati, and because Gup is a Ujit Dhatu, it will get Idagama Vikalpena. So, Svritti says, Swaratya Adehe Ujitascha Parasya, this Panchami, Valade Radhazatikasya. It was yad. So a pratya which is sending of ardhas had to come, beginning with a well letter. That well letter is always, 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 always there. Without well beginning pratya, there is no idagama. Remember that one simple thing. It has to begin with a well letter. Other things we can we, we see later. First check is it valadi or not. It's not valadi. Forget about it. There's no, there's no idagama. So well valadi pratya. Huh? It, this says optionally gets the idagamaha when following a verbal root that is udit, like in this case gupu, or the verbal root svaru, because it's swarati. Swarati, remember the vartikam which you saw, ikshtipau dhatu nirdeshe, ikshtipau pratya shtip can be used dhatu nirdeshe. So swarati simply means a dhatu svaru, svaru. And then this dhatu su comes in two ganas, shum prani garbha vimochane. So that is in the Adadi Gana, the form will be Suti. And Shung Prani Prasave comes in Bhagavad Gita, Suyate Sacharacharam, Suyate Sacharacharam, Hetu Nanin Kaunte, Jagat Vipari Vartate, Avajanan, Chapter 7 of Gita, Chapter 7 of Gita, Suyate Sacharacharam, Chapter, good chance to inaugurate Gita for today, Dhatu Su in the, in the Divadi, this is in the Divadi Gana and in the Adadi Gana. So suyate sacharacharam is uh, uh, suyate sacharacharam suyate uh, sorry chapter nine chapter nine of Gita excuse me chapter nine suyate so this is the the pratya shyan shyan pratya uh, sorry shyan pratya excuse me shyan pratya pratya shyan divadi bhyashyan divadi bhyashyan divadi bhyashyan so uh, that becomes the suyati. So here we get, remember, one more thing is that, small detail, is that we said ikshtipo dhatu nirdeshe. The dhatu may be atmane padi or parasubhi, doesn't matter. But in the sutram, when Panini wants to refer, when Panini wants to refer to a dhatu, he uses a pratya shtip only. So dhatu may be atmane padi, it doesn't matter. But in the sutram, Panini will not say suyate, he will say suyati only. The suyati simply means a dhatu su. It doesn't tell you, doesn't tell you that the su may be is parasvapadi or not. It's only dhatu nirdesha. Just pointing to the nirdesha is just pointing to the dhatu. So the in the in the sutra, I'm talking about in this sutra. When suyati, when Pani says suyati, all he means is dhatu su of the divadi gana. He doesn't tell you that dhatu su is parasvapadi in divadi gana. It doesn't say that. It is only pointing to the dhatu. It's only pointing there. Because for pointing, for nirdesha, Panini use a pratya shtip only. Shtip. So, <coughs> so anyway, so suti and suyati, the dhatu is in the adadi ganaha. Then this is the shuing. Of course, in, in both these cases, dhatva de shasaha. Dhatva de shasaha, 6164. So we get prani garva vimochane and then prani prasave. Divadi Ganaha, and then Dhatu Dhuing, which comes in two Ganas. It comes in the Swadi Ganaha and the Kriyadi Ganaha. So Dhatu Dhuing Company, Dhuing Company comes in two places. So both of those included here. So one last time is that these four Dhatu Swarati, Dhatu Svaru, 
suti dato su in di adadi ganaha suyati dato su in di divadi ganaha and dhvi which comes in the swadi ganaha and kriyadi ganaha as well as any dhatu which is udit following such at following these dhatus del iragamaha will be optionally for whom for a pratyaha which is valadi ardha dhatu ka pratyaha remember one more time most fundamental thing the iragama comes to the pratyaha not the dhatu please this one fundamental thing it comes to pratyaha which is valadi is not coming to the dhatu so these if it follows these dhatus will be optional so then we have gupsya ti what we'll do is that we'll get two forms gupsya ti and gup isya ti because we we'll do the iragama optionally swarati suti suyati dhuyu ditova dhuyu ditova dhuyu ditova that will be iragama optionally so we'll get the two forms gupsya ti and gopisya ti of course the final step is adesha pratyaya yoho so this is what you so today you saw one more thing now is the weight dhatus not wet dhatus but weight means vikal pain it from 7 to 44 to 7 to 51 so we have total of three forms gopa yashyati gopsyati and gopishyati so this is because of uh, ayadaya ardha dhatu ke va and this is because of the eight vikalpaha is the udit dhatu similarly the lutlakara if you go through the steps for homework you get the forms go pa yita when the aya pratyaya is done very straight forward ato lopaha and then gopta when there is no id agama id abhav pakshe and gopita id pakshe okay very simple like that now let's we'll look at one more rule from the section of iragamaha is important rule is that now keep an i keep an eye on the domain of these rules okay some of the rules are going to apply only when sya is there some of these only will apply when the pratyaya is sakaradi some of the only will apply when the dhatu is such and such we in the, we, we are in the iragama section but they have they have different different domains different so don't get confused try to keep keep track of which domain which section which which uh, which kind of situations are covered by that sutra okay so this one which we just saw didn't say anything about the pratyasya at all did not mention the pratyasya or tas tasi it simply said that these dhatus in general for any pratyaya which is valadi or dhatukam it will apply it will allow the iragama only optionally but now the next which you're going to see is this riddhanosye riddhanosye is the padachira is rid and hanoho inside the sutam this we have applied is jayoho anyatarasyam so if you do the sandhi it say it say riddhanoho it say um riddhanoho se is that ruto hantescha syasya it so riddhanoho is different dhatu which is rakaranta dhatu and the dhatu um and the dhatu uh, han so rudd plus han become rudd ruddhan ruddhan because of uh, 84 8462 like shrimad dhanuman right so jayo hon tarasyam rudd plus han become ruddhan rudd so ruddhano ho when when so it says rito hante cha sasya it so if the pratyasya only sye sye so so when the when the pratyasya is following a rakaranta dhatu or the dhatu han then the sye will take an iragama now why is sutra required can we not manage with with 7 to 35 no we cannot because 7 to 35 would be stopped by stopped by 7 to 10 Because again, coming back to seven to ten, go back to your wall, and their nante shu mana hana mana han manya hana udvau. So the han dhatu is a anudatto padeshu dhatu, because the nante shu manya hana two dhatus. So if we did not have this sutra seven to seventy, then seven to ten would have blocked. 7 to 35 obviously that's why pranini has to compose 7 to 70 but 7 to 
is specific to the Pratyaya Sya only. So keep a track of these domains now. So this says that when the Pratyaya Sya follows a Dhatu ending in a Rikara, Rasva Rikara, or the Dhatu Han, then the Sya will take, does take a Maha. And similarly, if any Dhatu ending in a Rikara, look at the list of exceptions up here, which is the Udrudantaihi, etc. So there are only these two dhatus here which are which are Udhatu Padeshaha. Every other dhatu in Ruka, like Dhatu Kru, Dhatu Bru, all these dhatus are Anudhatu Padesha. So again same thing here, the seven to ten would have blocked seven to thirty-five. But we need Iragam over here. So Pani specifically says that following a Rutaha, Rudanta Dhatu ho Hanteshcha Syasyate, syasya means for the Sya Pratyaya, Iragamaha. So the Atik Sya, uh, which is of course prescribed by Syatasi Lulotoho, gets the augment it, and following a verbal root that ends in the Rukaraha, or the verbal root Han, Hana Himsagatyaho in Adadiganaha. Adadiganaha is the second root in Adadiganaha. So take a quick example, very famous shloka of Gita. Prakritim Yanti Bhutan in the Griha King Karishati, chapter 3 of Gita. In fact, 3, 3, 3 of Gita. How about that? How about that for a little, little, little trivia for you? Because 3, 3, 3 starts the section on Bhavishyati in the Ashtadhyay. In the Ashtadhyay, in the Ashtadhyay in Sutram, 3, 3, 3 starts Bhavishyati. And in the Shloka, 3, 3, 3 of Gita, we have Karishyati. <laughs> We have Karishyati, which is the uh, third Lakaraha. So when now what happens here is that, of course, Dhatu, Prasiddha Dhatu, Dukrin Karane, Dukrin Karane, which we all know very well. So we take Kru plus Lrit, Lrit She She Cha, Anubandha Lopaha Pratyatip, Anubandha Lopaha Ti, Syata Si Lritoho. So up to this step, there's nothing special. Now comes 7 to 70 and says that, <coughs> that if Rud Rud, Ruddhanosye, Ruddhanosye. We have a dhatu ending in the Rukaraha. So it is, even though this dhatu is Anudhatu Padeshaha, the Spani specifically, Spani said Ruddhanosye, so the Sya Pratyaha does take it Agama, even though the dhatu Udhatu Udhatu Padeshaha, but doesn't matter, the Vishesha Vidhanam, it's a special role. So we get it Agama here for the Pratyasya only. Again, Sutram 7 to 70 is only for the Pratyasya, for nothing else. And of course, Adyan Takitao, and then, you know, Urbanda Lopaha, and we get the Gunadesha for the Angam Kru by Sabradhatuka, Ardhatuka Yoho, Uran Raparaha, and then finally, Adesha Pratyaya Yoho. I mean, the steps are all common, except the only complication was Iragama. It would have been stopped by 7 to 10, but 7 to 70 says, Dhatu is Rukaranta Dhatu, or Dhatu Han, Han Himsa Gatyoho, then in that case, Kidagama will be allowed for the Pratyasya. That's a simple thing. Similarly, when you take the Dhatu Han, you get the form Hanishyati. Very simple steps. The Dhatu Han is there. So, Sya will take Iragamaha, become Hanishyati. In the same section, now this was what? This was 7 to 70 now. Now, we just look at 7 to 58. It says, Gamerit Prasne Padeshu. Slightly different now. This Sutram is not seeing the Pratyasya. So this is a slightly bigger domain. But it's only for one single dhatu, which is the dhatu gamru gatau. Of course, it's a famous dhatu. It's gamru gatau. Sutram says gamerit. So following a dhatu, the dhatu gam, idagama will be prescribed, will be allowed. For what? The same section of the pratyas valadi and sanya of ardhatu kam. Don't forget that. Valadi, 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 Valadi. And right up to 7 to 75 goes the thing about Ardhatu Kasya. So we are right now at 7 to 58. So Gamehe Parasya. Sadehe. But there is one important thing that is Sadehe. Sakara Dehe. Pratyasya. For Pratyasya, which is Sakara Dehe now. So it is not the Pratyasya specifically, but it is Sadehe Pratyasya. Pratya, which is Sakaradi. So any Sakaradi Pratya, not only Sya. Says, because Anuruti of Se comes to the prior Sutra. 
technical thing over here is that you know which term is taking the pratyaha but is is taking the agamaha is it the dhatu gam or the other pratyaha sakare pratyaha clearly it's not the dhatu gam because gam is says gamehe so following the dhatu following the dhatu gam but the se is a saptami here then which one will be rolled because we say tasmadit tasmaditi uh, so uttarasya so we so we have we have these two rules. So Tasmadi Tutrasya says when there's a Panchami Nirdesha and a Sutram, then the operation is done to the following element. The following element. Let's we say Adhikara Dhatoho Nyaprati Padikat Panchami. When Panchami is there, the operation is to be done on the following element. But then Tasmaniti Nidrishte Purvasya. When Saptami is there, the operation is done on the prior element, like Shiti. Follows and it's a prior element. Now in this term we have what we have Gamerit Prasna Padeshu. We have Gamerit Prasna Padeshu. So this says Gamehe. So Gamehe. So that is that is Pancham Yekusham Gamehe. But then Anuruti of Se is coming down. So Se is Saptami. So now which one do we take? Which one do we take? We will take the Panchami or the Saptami. And there the Paribhasha says Uvenirdeshe. Panchmi Nirdesha Baliyan. The Panchmi Nirdesha is the more dominating one. The dominating one is the Panchmi Nirdesha. So and of course we know from the context that it's not the Dhatu, but the Pratyaha which takes the, uh, the Pratyaha which is Valadi, which is Pratyaha which is Sanya Pardhatu Kam, that takes the, the, the Iragamaha. But anyway, looking at the Vibhaktis in the Sutram, we have Gamehe. So Gamehe is, is a Panchmi Ekvachanam. Anuvatya Se is coming down. Say Saptami when the Panchmi Nirdesha is Baliyan, that is that is the dominating one. That is a, that is a dominating one. So Gameh is is, uh, is Panchami and say Saptami, but it is uh, it means Sakara the Ardhatuke. So it the say is, is a is actually a Visheshnam for the for the Ardhatuka Pratyaha. So Sakara though Ardhatuke and which because because Uhe Nirdeshe Panchami Nirdesha Baliyan. So it means that 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 sakara adi pratyaha will be taking the be taking the idagamaha. Um, okay. Now one more condition is this prasnipadeshu padeshu. So that means that this one is slightly different. Just from the vyakhyanam, we understand here that prasnipadeshu means that when atmanipadam is not there. Atmani Padabhave. There's some there's some there's some complicated reasons for that. For the time being, just take it like that. Prasni Padeshu means Atmani Padabhave. When there's no Atmani Padam, Prasni Padam may or may not be there. As long as Atmani Padam is not there, then following the Dhatugam, a pratya which is Sakaradi, which is which is Sanya of Ardhatukam, will take Iragamaha as long as Atmani Padam is not being used. So one more time. Following the dhatu gamrigatao, if a pratya is sakaradi, ardha dhatu ka pratyaha, and atmanipadam is not being used, then that pratya sakaradi ardha dhatu ka pratya will take the idagamaha. So right now what we have, we take the dhatu gam. I didn't put all the. They all steps are very simple. Take the dhatu gam. We add the pratya, add the rit, rit she she cha. We go through the same steps, bin the pratya tip and anubandha lopaha and then so gum ti and then after that satasi lulutoho we get gum siya ti. Now dhatu gum is there. Of course the pratya siya sanya of ardhatukam by, by ardhatukam sheshaha and it is sakaradi. So then we we'll take idagamaha. Now let's check same thing here. Is why do we need this sutra? Why can we not use 7 to 35? For the same reason is that because in the Manteshu, 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 Gama, Nama, Yama, Ramashchatvaraha. So in the Manta Dhatvaha, in the Dhatu, in Makaraha, there are four of them which are Anudatto Padeshaha. <coughs> and those are Gama, Nama, Yama, Rama. So in the absence of this Sutram, 7 to 58, 7 to 35 would have been blocked by 7 to 10. I mean, obviously, that is why Panini has to compose this sutra.
Otherwise, there was no need. Because the fact that in the absence of the special rule, 7 to 10 would have blocked 7 to 35. But now, because Pani specifically says that following a dhatu gum, the pratyay is sakaradi, it is sanyap ardhatukam, tikeda gamaha, so you get the form gamishyati, all the same steps, gamishyati, gamishyati. Okay. Now we go to one slightly different section here. Look at the number 7160. Again, we'll get a lot of examples in the coming weeks. Uh, usual thank you to Kumud and Radha and Yulia for doing a great job on the daily examples. They are actually, in a way, more important than the class itself is the daily examples because they spell out in, in great detail all the steps for those forms with some nice references. Okay. Now look at the number. We're going to 7160 now. So even though I'm going a little bit fast in the class, you get plenty of examples to practice in the next few weeks. 7160. What is 7160? 7160 is in the section of 7158. We have a very good friend next door. Not only that, we have 7159 we have used. She Muchadinam. So we have used we also use che muchadinam, which is which is right here. So now we should we should be able to understand very quickly what this sutram is saying. This sutram is talking about num agavaha, for which dhatus masjina shor jali. So when the pratyayam we are in the adhikar of angasya. So angam which consists of either the dhatu mascha or the dhatu nasya. And if this angam is followed by a pratyaya, which is jaladi pratyaya, jaladi pratyaya, in that case, this angam will take the num agamaha. These two dhatus will take the num agamaha. The pratyaya following is jaladi. So because we know the anuvritti of num is coming down here, coming from 758. We have used 758 extensively. We have used 759 also. See, now it's becoming so easy. We're just adding on some small bits and pieces here and there. Our basic, our car is ready. The Panini engine is basically ready. We are putting some bells and whistles here and there. That's all we are doing now. So we so these two dhatus, Mashti Nashor Jali, Num Syat, when followed by Pratya, which is beginning with a Jal letter, so Jaladi Pratya Pare, the dhatu Mashti, Tu Mashti Shuddhav, we should like to plunge or to immerse, like magnaha. So it's a jale nimagnaha. You can say nimagnaha, panke nimagnaha. To be, to be immersed in something, to immerse. This, this must becomes magna as a, past, as, as a participle. And of course, nash is uh, nasha, is to be lost or, or destroyed, lost or destroyed. These two dhatus, nasha adarshane. Adarshan name is to be to be lost, to not to be seen. And then of course in here we get the no naha six one sixty five because dhatva de shasaha six one sixty four and no naha six one sixty five. This this adi nakara will become a nakaraha. We take it to use. And then these two dhatus take a numagamaha pratej jaladi. Very, very straightforward. These two dhatus take num agamahan pratesh jaladi. Now, why do we need this sutram right now? Let's take the form in Gita. Asachetta mahankara nashoshasi vinankshasi. If you don't listen to this out of your, due to your ego, you don't listen, then you will be destroyed. You will be lost. You will perish. Vinankshasi. Athachet. Now, if, if, athachet. Now, if, tom, you. Ahankarat, because of your ego. Nashoshasi, we don't listen. Vinankshasi, you'll be destroyed. So Vinankshasi, Vinankshasi, of course Upasarga is V, but the form is Nankshasi, Nankshasi. That is Nasha Adarshane. So then of course, first of all, no Naha, that the Nakara becomes a Nakaraha. Then Ritshesha, of course Anubandha Lopaha, talking about Madhyam Purusha Ekavachanam now. So we get the Pratya Sip. Anubandha Lopaha, then Syata Asil Lutoho. Everything up to this point should be common. Nothing special. Nash Sya Si. Now what happens is that Idagamaha. Idagamaha. So, uh, also, uh, Ravi gave you an example from Uddhava Gita. Kulam Vai Shapa Nirdagdham Nangshatyanonya Vigrahat. This is the, I think, the, the Yadu clans. People they 
will destroy each other anyonya vigrahat when the, when the krishna avatar ends this so vinang sukulam shapa nirdardham this family which has been burned by the curse of the rishis vinangshati it will be it will it will perish so nangshati again oh, thank you thank you ravi uddhava geeta in bhagavatam bhagavat purana now the question comes here is that nash plus c plus t plus c m so nash c or c hiragama because the question is do we have to apply hiragama or not because in the the so we just saw sutra 7245 we just saw that didn't we 7245 and we just also marked this section we saw 7244 i'm sorry 7244 we just saw and we also remarked that from this sutra 7244 up to 7251 is the vikalpena it va wow. because 7252 again panini resumes the it nityam it from 52 so here we have we we'll look at 7245 now rada divyascha we should be very very familiar with this now because we already know the section very well because all we are talking about is vikalpena it vikalpena iragama so all the sutram says is that rada divyascha means we don't forget rada don't don't confuse these two radhadi and rudhadi so radha radhadi is a subset of the divadi ganaha rudadi bhishnam the rud rud rudadi is the saptama ganaha is the seventh gana of that rudadi ganaha this is radhadi so please don't confuse these two which is the radhadi bhishcha and the other one of course which we saw way back when the pratyashnam rudadi bhishnam apavada for shap that was back here rudadi bhishnam so don't confuse rudadi with radhadi radhadi are only eight dhatus in the divadi ganaha when the rudadi referring to the entire rudadi ganaha which is the seventh gana saptama ganaha okay so radhadi bhishcha rad radhadi bhishcha 7245 all it says is that these eight dhatus they allow iragama optionally radhadi bhishcha so following one of these eight dhatus if we have a pratyaha which is valadi sanya fardhatukam will take the iragama optionally radhadi bhishcha says radha nasha trupa drupa druha moha shnuha shniha so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 ebhya ashtabhya valadya radhatukasya this of course is coming down which you talked about repeatedly today is that the sex the condition of valadi always there and up to 7 to 75 also ardhatu kasya va it syat wait syat so very simple sutram pratya which is sanya ardhatukam which is valadi will take edagama id agama optionally if it follows one of these eight verbal loops in the in the dhatu patha order from 490 four ninety four ninety one ninety two ninety three ninety four ninety five ninety six ninety seven and one of them is this dhatu nasya nash adarshane so we continue the example from here so we got the nash sya see now remember that our sutram 7160 which we saw for the numagamaha that is dependent on the pratya being jhaladi if we get the iragamaha iragama stad guni bhavati which means the agama becomes a part of the pratyaha so if, if the iragama comes the pratya becomes isya with the iragamaha the pratya becomes isya it's no longer jhaladi we cannot apply 7160 that's why it's very in fact it's something we're going to see a lot in the future is that going ahead we see a number of situations where the operation depends on the pratya becoming jhaladi for that we have to first check iragama is coming or not iragama comes then it's, it's no longer jhaladi it becomes ikaradi it becomes ajadi ikaradi but so that is why we have to first stop in between before applying 7160 we have to first check with the iragama section so we first check with 7245 with iragama optionally so in the case when we um when we where the iragama is not applied now what happens is that we get the numagama 
So 7 to 45 is prescribing Ida Agama optionally. When the Ida Agama is not applied, then we get the Numa Agama Pratya is Jaladi. And of course, because Midacho and Paraha, we get the Numa Agama after the last Ach, which is the Akara and Nasha, we get Na, Na, Num, Sya, Sya, Ti. And when the Lopaha, Upadesha, Nanas, Upadesha, Jananasi, Kaitalantyam, and then we get the, uh, there's some Sandhikaram, which is Sandhikaram here now, is by Sutram, Vrashcha, Vrashcha, Srija, Mrija, Mrija, Yajaraja, Vrajas, Chasham, Chaha. It's only Sandhikaram. Now, the 8.236 says that, Vrashcha, Vrashcha, Srija, Mrija, Yajaraja, Vrajas, Chasham, Chaha. The Dhatu ending in a Talavya Shakaraha, for by Jali, but for Padante, gets the Mudanya Shakara, Mudanya Shakara de Shaha. So by 8.236, this Talavya uh, Shakara of Nash becomes Mudanya Shakara because it's followed by Jal again. Same thing, followed by Jal, just Jali Padante, Jali Atva Padante, 8.236. And then we get Shadow Kasi. Don't forget the Sunday rules, Shadow Kasi. With the Mudanya Shakara or Dhakara, takes the kakara deshaha when followed by a sakara. This is all, these are all only varna niyamaha, varna ashrita niyamaha. Nothing to do with any angakaryam. We are only finishing on the Sunday rules. And again, appreciate the panini ashtadhyayi, I mean the tripadi section order. How beautifully panini places all these rules in the, in the tripadi section. For the purvatra siddham, you cannot look back. It's a purvatra siddham. So look at how nicely panini placed this 7, 8 to 36 before 8 to 41. We have to get the Murdhanya Shakara in place first. <coughs> so we can apply Shadow Kasi. And then after that, we get the uh, Anuswara Adesha Nascha Padantasya Jali. And then we get the Adesha Pratyaya Yoho Murdhanya Shakara Adesha Padisya Sakara Sya. And then, fin then finally, Anuswara Sya Yai Parasavarnaha. So one more time, by 7 to 45, Idagama is optional. When we do the Ragama Bhava Pakshe, Ragama Bhava Pakshe, then we get Pratya remains Jaladi, Sakaradi Jaladi, get the Num Magama by Maschina Shur Jali, and then we put up the last vowel, which is the Akara in Nash, and when the Lopaha we do, and then we get the Mudanya Shakara in place of the Talavya Shakara by Vrashya Vrashya Ityadi 8236, and then we get Shadur Kasi, make it Kakaraha. Then the Nakara becomes Anuswaraha by Nashchapadantasya Jali. And we get Nang Nangka. And then after it becomes, we get the Adisha Pratyaja Yoho. Get the Mudanya Shakara here. And then finally, Anuswarasi Parasavarnaha. Nangshasi. Nangshasi. So next time we, when we chant the Gita, end of Gita 1858, Nashoshasi So Think of these two rules, which is Maschi Nashor Jali. And Razadi Bhyascha, Razadi Bhyascha. Of course, then when the Idagama is done, it's straightforward because the Pratya is no longer Jaladi. You just apply the Idagamaha and become Nashishyasi, Nashishyasi, Nashishyasi. So there is straightforward form. When the Idagama comes, no longer Jaladi. We, there's no Numagama either. Just become Nashishyasi. So there are two forms, Nangshasi, Nashishyasi. Now, um, Let's look at this dhatu vrittu vartane, another important dhatu vrittu vartane, like vartate, needs to exist to be, to conduct oneself, vrittu vartane. Now what's special about this dhatu, why do we need to look at this dhatu specially? Well, the special thing is that, look at the number of this sutram, 1392, switching gears, we're going to 1392 now, 1392, what's the 13 section is well known to us, isn't it? The 13 section, this section starts with 1312. And then way below 1378 starts, And that goes to the end of the Padaha. Now there your Sutram 13592 says, Vrudh which means what? This must be telling us something, some situation of applying Parasme Padam, following the Dhatu, Vridh, etc. 
See how quickly we can get the context of the sutram even without looking at the vritti. Vrutbhyasya sanoho. When the pratyasya or san is being used, then his dhatus vrit etc. will take prasnipadam. We will take a prasnipada pratyaha. So, so 1392 one more time is coming in the section of sheshat kartari prasnipadam. So prasnipadam is being prescribed. So here what we have is that vritadibhya panchabhya. These five dhatus in the, in the, in the, in the vritadibhya. So vrit etc. vritadibhya panchabhya. Va prasnipadam syat sye syanicha. In the context of the pratyaya, siya pratyaya or the san pratyaya. San pratyaya we have not seen it, but we will we'll see it later on in the year when we look at this sutram, which is, you know, sanadhyanta dhatvaryam sanadhyanta dhatvaha. So we'll, we'll, we'll show the pratyaya san later on, particularly 317, we'll be studying what's called desiderative forms, pratyaya san. Don't worry about san for the time being, so let's look at only the pratyaya siya. But we, when we'll come back to this one later on, but the sutram simply says that Prasipada is optionally that too. Okay, there's also an option here now. Because 1392, 13, if you look at 1392, there must be an option option coming there. Here's a va. So yes, so we have Parasipadam and we have also have va optionally. These five dhatus. Dhatu Pata Dhatu Pata Kramena, Dhatu Pata Kramena. So Vrutu Vartane. Vridhu Vridhav, Shridha Shabda Kutsayam, Syandu Prasravane, and Kripu Samarthye. These five dhatus, which normally, they what? Because Anudatta Gnita Atmanipadam, if you cut Dhatu Pata, from 862 to 866, the Dhatu Pata from 862 to 866 in the Bhadi Ganaha. From 860, now you know why in the Dhatu Pata, Panini groups all these dhatus carefully together so that they can take common operations. So here from 862 to 866 says that there is this section about see all these dhatus anudattu padesha. Look at the vrutu. Anuda, anudattu padesha. Anud, sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Anudatta it. Anudatta it. Atmanipadam. Don't confuse these two. I just did that myself almost. That the it, the swara on the it letter. That dictates Parasvipadam or Atmanipadam. The Swara on the Dhatu vowel itself dictates the Idagama in Nishedha will be there or not. So these Dhatus have a it letter, which is Anudatta. So Vritu Vartane, Vridhu, Vridhav, is the typo here should be Vridhav, Shudhu, Shabda Kutsayam, Syandhu, Prasavane, and Kripu Samarthe, all of them are Anudatta it. So therefore, by Anudatta Gnita Atmanipadam, they should be taking Atmanipadam. But then this sutra says that in the context of Pratyasya or Sun, these five dhatus will take Parasipadam optionally. Optionally. So one last time, these five dhatus in the Dhatu Pata order, starting with Vrtu Vartane up to Kripu Samarthe, they take Parasipadam optionally, but only in the context of the Pratyasya being there, Sya coming or sun coming. Right now we talk about Dhatu Vrutu Vartane. We go through the usual steps. We take Lut Shay Shecha, Anubandha Lopaha, Pratya Tip will come by Tip Taji, Anubandha Lopaha. So up to this point, of course, Chata, Seel, Luto, nothing special. Vritsya Ti. Now the question comes is that, now here, by 1392, Prasipadam is optional. So right now we're looking at the case where we're going to use Prasipadam. Because Prasipadam is optional because in, we are in the context of the Pratyasya being used. So because of the 1392, Vridhyasya Sanoho, we are going to do Prasipadam optional. So we're looking right now at Prasipadam Paksha. So in the case Prasipadam is used, we get Vridhyasya Thi. Now we go to the Idagama section. Remember today we just learned the sutra 7 to 58 right now. We just did 7 to 58 and 7 to 58 told us that Gamerit Prasipadesho. We just finished that. Anantaram sutram, next sutram says Navrudhyas Chaturbhyaha now. Only the four dhatus now. The four dhatus, which are those four? Starting with Vrutta. So Vrutta Vartane, 
ऋदु वृद्ध सुदुक शब्द कुछ सायाम एंड सेंदु प्रस्रवणे नॉट द लास्ट वन बट जस्ट दिस फोर व्हाट डू दे डू न सो वृतु वृद्धु शुदु सेंदु भ्यह सकारादेहे अर्धादुकस्य इन्नस्यात व्हाट तंगानोर तंगा तंगानोर भावे when atman tangan anadi because of tangana vatane padam remember what is atmane padam tangana vatane padam so in the absence of atmane padam in the absence of atmane padam because tangana vatane padam so when atmane padam is not there then these four dhatus do not allow any ragama it says no na vrudhya chaturbhya so in the absence of atmane padam these four dhatu which normally what would have happened here is that because vrutu vrudhu and shrudhu okay they have their udatta padesha udatta padesha in fact nice chance for to practice these things here so vrutu this this rukaraha dhatu rukaraha is udatta so they would have allowed iragamaha basically 7 to 10 doesn't apply to these dhatus one more time got the rukaraha and vrutu vrudhu and shrudhu is udatta so therefore 7 to 10 which is ekach upadesha anudatta so 7 to 10 cannot block 7 to 35 in this cases so normally they will allow nidagama when the pratyaya following is valadi ardhatuka pratyaya and syandu has a uditta we just studied the sutram 7 to 44 uditova so that means that they this will take iragama optionally so without in the absence of this sutram in the absence of 7 to 15 now what would have happened is that these vrutu vrudhu and shrudhu would have allowed iragama all the time because they are udatta padesha and on the other hand this dhatu which is uh, syandu would have allowed iragama optionally because of surati suti suyati dhuni uditova so that's what optionally now the sutra specifically says that na vrudhya chaturbhya tangana bhave so when atmane padam is not there these four dhatus the first three of which would have allowed iragama all the time and the fourth would have would have allowed iragama optionally but now they will not allow iragama at all when when is that when is that when it is says that sakara dehe सेम कंडीशन सकारा दे है अर्धधातु कस्या देन तंगाना वो भावे सिं नाउ यू नो हाउ डीप यू आर गेटिंग इन दिस इडागम प्रकरण नाउ इस दैट्स इस वेरी स्पेसिफिक रूल फॉर ओनली दिस फोर धातुस वृद्धु वृद्धु शुद्धु एंड स्यंदु एंड दे डू नॉट अलविदा इडागम हाँ यू द इफ द प्रत्यय फॉलोइंग इस सकारा द What do you have right now? We have Rut Syati, because we by one three ninety two, Prasne Padam was optional. We're looking at the case right now. Prasne Padam Paksha, Prasne Padam is being used. We have Pratyati is here, so there's no Atmane Padam. We have to Rut is present. So normally by seven to thirty five, we would have had Idagamaha, but seven to fifty nine says don't do it because we have a Dhatu Rut. There's no Atmane Padam present over here, and the Pratyay Sakara Adi. Ardha dhatu ko pratyaya. So idagama is stopped, and then we get vritsyati, and then of course pugan talagu patasya cha uran rapaha uran raparaha. We get vritsyati, vritsyati, vritsyati. Now when atmane padam is used, because you know one three ninety two said prasya padam optionally. When atmane padam is used, what do we have? We get vrit plus vrit anuban the lopaha. Now pratyato is going to come because tangana atmane padam. So, to is going to come. Then, titha atmane padanam te re becomes vrit te. Then, the pratyasya syata seal ru luto ho. Now, we get iragamaha. Because 7 to 59 said us when atmane padam was not there only apply 7 to 59. Right now, we do have atmane padam. So, 7 to 59 does not come here because the pratyata is belongs to tang pratyahara which is atmane padam. So we just simply apply seven to thirty-five, arathakusti edvala dehe, and we get vartishyate. So idagama comes. Then of course finally we get the 
Pugant the Lagupas Chachuran Raparaha in Adishapatay Yoho. So we get two forms, Vartsyati and Vartishyati. Because 1392 um, said that we can use Atmane Padam optionally. And so when we use Parasme Padam, then 7259 came and blocked the Ragamaha because Prith is one of those four dhatus for which don't allow any Ragamaha when Atmanipadam is not there and the Pratya following is Sakara Adi Adhatukam. So that is why 1392 along with 7259 gave us the form Vartsyati. And then in Atmanipadam Pakshe, 7259 does not apply Vartishyate. Now, just as I know time's running out, we are on or out of time. Just as a heads up for you, later on in in the next well, in a few weeks, we will look at this. I mean, this is just a side side talk, comment for today. Look at this sutra. We are talking of the Pushadi Jyutaadi Rizitaha Rizitaha Parasnipadeshu Jyutaadi Ganaha. This is completely not. This is not today's topic. But I just want to mention that later on. When we study the Lung Lakaraha, we look at the Sutram 3155, Pushadi Dhyutadi Rizitaha Prasepadesho. So this Dhyutadi is a bigger section which includes the Vritadeha. So let me go there for one second. Is that what I'm talking about? Is that see this this is Dhatu Dhyut, which starts from here, Dhyutadeha. Dhyutadeha. And that's being referred to in the Sutram, which is we are going to study later on, which is 3.155. We say the Dhyutadis, there was something special in the Lung Lakaraha. And what we studied today, what we studied today was a subset of the Dhyutadi. Because Dhyutadi starts from 8.42. And the last five of those are referred to in the Vridviha. That is 1.392. 1392 refers to the last five of these. So 1392 refers to the last five of the Dhyutadi. Vrithvyasya Sanoho. It says Parasipadam optionally. And then the 7259 refers to the first four of those five. Navrithvyas Chaturbhyaha. So one more time. The Dhyutadi section starts from number 842, this Dhatu part over here. It goes up to um, eight Dhatu number 866. And that we study later on, when we study when Lung Lakara, when we do that, we look at this section of Dhyuta Adayaha. And that is referred to in 3155. Now, the last five, the Dhyuta Adayaha, from 862 to 866, are referred to in the Sutram. 1392, Vridhyasya Sanoho, And then the first four of those five, the first four of those last five, the first four of those last five are referred to in 7259, which is Na Vridhyas Chaturbhya, says, the Chaturbhya. Okay, time is up. One last quick sutram and we will stop for today. Very, very easy sutram. In fact, we'll do two of them. I'm sorry. I'm tempted now. We'll do two of them. Syasyadhatuke. Syasyadhatuke. From a section of Ardhatuke. Sorry, it's a different section. I'm sorry. This is not in this is not in six four. This is seven dot four. Sasyadhatuke. Sasya Tasyad. Sada Vardhatuke. Sada Vardhatuke. Very simply it says that a sakaraha is replaced by a takaraha when followed by a pratya which is sanya of to come which is sakaradi so one more time saha just the the in place of a sakaraha see when a sakaradi pratya follows which is sanya of to come so sasi ardhatuke sasi ardhatuke if you have a sakaraha <coughs> which is followed by a pratyaha which is Sakaradi again, which is Sanya of to come, then that prior Sakara becomes a Takaraha. This is a section of 7449, which is which is talking about, you know, when you have a Tadi, when you have a 7449, 7449 says that uh, 
सस्यार्द धातु के स्टेक दैट अधिक दी अधी अधी के से तकारा दी शहा तकारा दी शहा इस कमिंग फ्रॉम हियर दो दत को हो अच्छा फल से पदेशो इस जहाते इस जहार तित्ती गिती अन्यतरस्याम जाते रहा भाषा जो ये अनुत्यक्त तहा इस कमिंग फ्रॉम हियर पसरगात तहा सो सो दी दी विकेट तकारा दी शहा फिर वस सकारा फॉर्म प्रत्यय विच इस सकार आदि आधातु को प्रत्यय इन दिस केस भी अ प्रत्यय स्य क्विक एग्जांपल वी लुक एट दी धातु वस्सनिवासे वस्सनिवासे व्हेन वी डू दी लुट प्रक्रिया वे लुट शेषे चो एंड डू द यूजुअल स्टेप्स की प्रत्यय टिप व्हेन वी ब्रिंग इन द विवक्षा पुत्र पुरुषे एक वचनम अनुबंध लो पहाती एंड � is followed by the pratyasya, which of course is sanyaf ardhatukam by ardhatukam sheshaha. It also sakaradi. And note that iragama is stopped by 7 to 10. Again, 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 7 to 10 keeps on coming over and over again. Santeshu. Ghasavasati dvau. Ghasavasati dvau. So the vas dhatu is anudattu padeshaha. So that is why this sakara of vas is exposed is followed by a pratyaya which is sakaradi. If there is iragamaha, of course, the pratyaya will be ikaradi. There will be no question of, you know, sakaradi pratyaya following. But this iragama is stopped by 7 to 10. Because dhatu vas is one of the two dhatus in the sant, so santesho. It is, you know, ghasvasati dvau. So vas is anudapto padesha. So there is no iragamaha. And then this sakara of vas becomes takara. So any sakara followed by a pratyaya which is sakaradi, which is sanya of ardha to come, takes the takara desha, become vatsyati. This is very, very important rule because what happens is if you look at the form vatsyati, it's difficult to figure out what the dhatu is. Vatsyati, you might guess the dhatu might be vat or vat or something. This is very, this is a very important sutra because okay, you, you can recognize the pratyasya and t, but if you look at vat, you might think dhatu might be like vat or vat or something like that. It is not. Dhatu is vas. That is why the sutra is very important. It's that when you have a sakara followed by any pratyaya which is sakara adi ardhatuka pratyaya, then that prior sakara becomes a takara adesha, becomes vatsyati, vatsyati. Okay, last sutra, graholiti dirgha, very, very straightforward. Ekacho grahehe, vitasyeto dirgho natuliti. When the iragama is prescribed, following the dhatu graha, Graha upadane krishnati means to take, to accept. Then that iragama becomes, takes dirgha adeshaha, dirgha adeshaha, but not if the pratyaya lit follows. Very, very simple sutram. Ekacho, don't worry about ekacho. This ekacho is just for some very complicated situations. So the, you can leave the ekacho for the time being. This ekacho is just to cover some very rare application. Leave the ekacho for the time being. Just remember this much. Graher vihitasyeto. Dirgho natuliti, which means that if idagama is prescribed following the, following the dhatu grah upadane, that idagama becomes, takes a dirgha deshaha, but not if the pratyaya lit follows. So we take a simple example, we get, the, when we take graha, graha plus lit, then we'll get the two, we'll get the form, it's uvaipaji dhatu. But grahi, grahishyati, then uh, grahishyate. So because only thing here is that because dhatu grah is there, the iragama takes the dirgha desha, becomes elongated, unless lit is there. We don't have lit right now, we're talking about the pratyaya, lit. So we get the form grahishyati and grahishyate. The usual steps, only thing is the dirgha desha. Now, don't confuse this with the eid agama. So this one is doing the dirgha desha for the iragama. Iragama is already coming. Iragama is already coming. This is only doing dirgha desha. So graholiti dirgha does a dirgha desha for the iragama which is already prapta. While the eid agama which we saw, like you know, in the uh, in 7.3, bruva eid and so on. So at that time, this, this, that there was no iragama coming there at all. Directly an eid agama came directly. So don't confuse these two, please. That Bruva eat, etc., was doing an eid agama in 7.3 of Ashtadhyay. There was no prapti of the eid agama. 
e ragama was not coming. So directly Panini puts the e ragama directly there. But here, when you say grahulati dirghaha, e ragama is already coming. Only thing Panini says is that make a dirgha desha for the idagama which is already prapta. It's already there. So don't confuse this dirgha desha with the e ragama. Okay, let's stop there. Next class will be on March 10th. Let's do Mangala Charanam. Ramo Raja Manis Sada Vijayate Ramam Ramesham Vijay. Rame Navyata Nishachar Chamu Rama Itasmain Maha. Rama Nasti Paranam Parataram Ramas Chidasos Myaham. Rame Chitale Sada Bhotume Bhorama Mamudhara Rama Rame Ti Rame Ti Rame Rame Mano Rame. Sasanama Tatulyam Rama Nama Varanane. Sri Rama Nama Varanana On Nama Iti. Again today is Feb 25. Next class is on March 10th and we'll come back for the Sundar Kandam in about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Uh, are we okay Ravi? Yes please. Okay. Thank you and Hari Om.